hi this is dr shrimati kesin and i'm the founder ceo of space kids india uh, i hail from hyderabad and uh, i've done my commerce and uh, before completing my graduation i was married at 18 uh, while at school at college i was a national basketball player a state athlete a paratrooper a silver medalist in shooting <laughs> and the parade commander for the republic day parade ncc and i was the first cadet a girl cadet to uh, you know hold the sword and uh, march the parade uh, lead the parade rather so uh, during that uh, you know it's a it's an event ncc day event and uh, that is where uh, general kv krishna who was the chief guest he was so appreciative of my command and the way i carried myself and everything he uh, he got to hear about me and then he said he called my father and he said aise ladki chahiye hame fauj mein which means to say that we want such girls in the armed forces and uh, my dad was extremely thrilled but uh, you know uh, he pulled out uh, my wedding invitation from the bag because the same day evening we were leaving from hyderabad to chennai for my wedding and <laughs> and from sword exactly because that was the last day and uh, i held the sword from there i straight away jumped to spatula in the sense dosa karandi so i jumped into that i was married and after 16 years of sabbatical then moved out to become an entrepreneur and started space kids india rather than me choosing space i think space is chosen me i should say it's a different journey uh, even when i was at home these 16 years as a homemaker without the knowledge of my family you know because i was an all rounder i mentioned to you earlier so it's very difficult to you know hold yourself and just be at home doing the domestic chores so you want to do something different all the time you know that gives you soul satisfaction it's not for the money and uh, so that is the reason i've actually done uh, voice overs i've done dubbing uh, fashion choreography for about 55 shows and uh, you know designing for uh, you know garments and all that so all these things without the knowledge of my family you know the little two or three hours that i get in the afternoon the me time i should say so i thought i should utilize that time and do something to keep myself agile so i was doing this but uh, that was not uh, you know a completely professional one and uh, there was something within me that always kept saying that why was shrimati born you know it is not that she is uh, meant to be a homemaker a mother a wife she is, she needs her own identity it is not only shrimati but i always felt that every woman needs an identity of herself her circle of friends you know professional life a balance between professional and family life all this i think i always felt that a woman need and only then she is a real complete woman and uh, this urge was there within myself and i always threw it to the universe i kept saying come on tell me something tell me what should i do why was i born please tell me that and uh, some days it is very uh, irritating and you know i get angry and some days it is like why so finally uh, you know a friend of mine from maharashtra she actually uh, pulled me out i should say uh and she gave me the opportunity to go to the US where there was a conference happening a travel show happening and this was all uh, free of cost so she said somehow convince your family and you're going there so my family was initially taken aback that i was going to do something like this and um, my husband is a voracious traveler so i had my visas and all that uh, because american visa is very difficult so i had my visas so 6 hours before the flight i got all the permissions from my family and uh, my daughter was the biggest supporter she always supported me and uh, she was like convinced daddy i'll take care i'll take care of the house you know she was only in grade 6th uh, or 7 and she was like i will take care you don't worry and uh, you know then i stepped out i went to the us and uh, there is where i got to see the presentations of nasa uh, i was so excited and i was emotionally moved because reading from the textbooks and then seeing is something so very different it was 
truly overwhelming and uh, i think that first step that i took was in 2009 and there was no looking back after that Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, see, I am. I have to say, I was from a sandwich generation, where you know, uh, many of the women were at home. You know, uh, opportunities were very less for women to come out, and it was always felt that you know, if the man was uh, you know the breadwinner, I mean, obviously, uh, the man was the breadwinner, sole breadwinner of the family. So the women need to take care of the domestic front. Only then the family will be stable. This was ingrained in uh, every man and woman's brain, uh, right from uh, you know A.D. B.C. I don't know how much, what all I have to say. But now there is a break in this. Women have evolved beautifully. They have seen their mothers struggle, talented mothers being at home and bottling up everything. You know, children have seen all that. So many a houses, what what's happening is when the child is almost in their teens, you know, they are trying to push their mothers in the forefront and supporting the mothers, you know, to becoming homepreneurs. So this is a beautiful concept. You should not fight and uh, you know because once you start fighting there is no peace in the family okay so what happens is there is a break in the family children suffer so rather than this you know silently like a satyagraha you know you kind of put your point but i think somewhere or the other if you're firm in your decision as to what you have to do i think the universe will conspire and there will be some way or the uh, other to pull you out of the house because initially it was joint families when uh, you know when i got married and all that it was like i had my mother in law fa you know my brother in law all these people at home so it was very difficult to step out you know so uh, but now you have a lot of nuclear families you do not have joint families so when you know it is only how the woman is able to balance both the family and profession and you know have the family forefront keep in peace so i think uh, they are doing wonderful these days and uh, there are so many and work from home after covid i think everybody has learned to do business from home whatever be the uh, profession i think they've learned it uh, beautifully how to run it from home um it is it is a fabulous experience because uh you know all these uh, research centers we've studied in our textbooks we don't even know how the experience is going to be and we always or rather at least i always thought you have to be an astronaut or you have to be a scientist to get into nasa but it is so surprising the first time when i went to nasa i got to understand that even a 7 year old can come there for a space camp so that was an eye opener for me and uh, you know so uh, i was so thrilled even if i didn't undergo such experiences indian children should definitely you know undergo such experiences so experiential learning is what i started and i wanted to give to the children of india and that's how i started space kids in india and space is a fantasy for everybody Uh, space is exciting and uh, in 2010 2011 the industry was just evolving because uh, you know if you take isro we had like one or two launches in a year and uh, nasa definitely had many launches uh, but you know uh, isro was preparing for something big i think we were at the right time to uh, you know nurture these young minds so that today when there is privatization in the space industry happening all these youngsters have you know started their startups in the uh, satellite building rocket building and this industry is really booming now and uh, esa was a great experience because uh, traveling to europe and then gctc that is russia russians are the pioneers in uh, space technology so to get into russian space center was amazing to get into the soyuz capsule i mean you just felt like an astronaut and children were so excited you wouldn't believe that uh, children who were only thinking about becoming uh, you know mechanical or electrical engineers in their core and uh, you know work for something like an automobile industry and all that started looking at space industry as their profession 
and the most beautiful thing was even uh, you know uh, students who were pursuing finance literature they also have a job in uh, you know space industry which was not known to many so this ISRO, NASA and GCTC experiences actually was an eye opener for me and I could share my experiences with a lot of children which be then became an eye opener for them too. So it was mutual, it was beautiful and uh, today I should say um, you know I am the only woman uh, who's running an organization where we build satellites and all that through children. So it's a path-breaking concept that we have actually implemented here in India.